are these applications or uh, rest applications yes yes so how the security is maintained in these applications for security uh, so should i go precise with my application or you wanted to know about the so we are implementing uh, obviously for microservice and i know spring security as well but in current application it is implemented different way so should i explain what is in my current and then i tell about other things or what yeah, is you can about? you can go ahead with your current and then explain the in general okay okay and yeah spring security i have worked with uh, set in memory configuration in memory configuration like uh, it is currently in spring boot we are using in which once the authentication happens we will come to a uh, authorization level where we will be having a filter proxy uh, which is an interceptor which will be redirecting you to the service again on you will be specifying a roles and user responsibility what all access and user can have it and related to that particular service you can configure the access related to the particular service as well okay so this is <clears throat> this is few things i know so what type of exception this clone method will throw clone not support exception and why it is in object class not in not in interface or anywhere else see if we if it is in the object class only we can use this method other than if it is if if it not in the for example if it is in some some other way if i am using the comparator interface we need to implement those methods for for uh, the clonable is not required no? if it is declared in the object class that that's why is there with the help of object or clone we can have we can use the method what type of design patterns you have used design patterns like a creational behavior a structural design pattern we are going to use Personal is like some uh, creating the object. Singleton is there, or session factory is there, or like you are going to factory, you are going to define on that. And the structural some like a chain responsibility or proxy related. So that things we are going to use on that. So have you used uh, directly used proxy design pattern, or uh, have you created itself in your project anywhere? Yeah, we are created the proxy design pattern. We are going to create it on that somewhere. Like Uh, our some like a URL like if we are going to flip flop concept we are going to use at that time like a multiple URL we need to provide for the host so there is a, like we are going to use uh, proxy means what like proxy means like we are going to provide you some replica of that the original application to use that things means like some access related things we are going to provide. What is stream? Stream you can process the collection of object, and there are two types of operation in that stream API, like intermediate operation, terminal operation, and there are uh, there are support various methods like map, flat map, filter, sorted. These are the method we can use for uh, sequential object like that. How it is different from collection? It will reduce your code actually. Okay, no need to write multiple code. Suppose you want to sort something, then you can directly use sort. Sorted method, or if you want to filter something, then you can use directly filter. There are predefined method is there already. So is okay. there an only difference? Or we can use bulk op operation at a time using stream. Memory wise, is there any? Memory wise also better. You have to access values from the application properties in Spring Boot. So how do you do that? Ah, uh, we can ah uh, do one thing means ah uh, we can ah uh, need to ah uh, we can uh, use the exact configuration annotation in a Spring Boot. to read the properties file yeah we can use that that configuration uh, annotations then uh, we have to provide a path a file name means which file suppose any uh, new file or any if it is not application properties any other file we have to set it up then we have to provide a file name dot properties or uh, we can uh, do the it dynamically also then we have to provide uh, use the property source functionality to read that annotation multiple lo- from multiple locations then uh, we can uh, simply put that okay uh, it's auto detect na if i am not using any other then it auto detect that value thus we have to inject in a lot uh, properties loaded properties mm-hmm. in our uh, formal no- normal way for example from application dot properties it can auto detect that value i have to just use the that name uh, if i have to pass a server dot port so i have to use that server dot port name so it auto detect that value from there application dot properties means i have to use the get property functionality from data source i set url somewhere i have to set it 
and have to use the get property with one variable it's just a data get property functionality from the can you tell me some of the new features of java 8 one of them is uh, functional interface and uh, lambda expressions are introduced in java 1.8 in string comparison some comparator interfaces are introduced the comparator and comparable are not introduced in java 8 they are old major part is actually interface level changes after java 1.8 we can use uh, abstract methods and interfaces it's having a single abstract method without any implementation how do you convert a string into an integer yeah parse int we can do it but like uh, if it is an uh, like uh, for example i have a string 10 okay uh-huh. so that kind uh, that kind of thing i can convert it like uh, we have so many parses there right so uh, like a uh, parse int we can do it. the uh, like a uh, uh, in the creation of conversion time itself uh, before that we'll give a praises we can convert it okay. if it is not converting we can go with the how routing is done in your microservices i mean how how they are talking to each other it, it is like uh, we will have a connection bit connection pool in our project we are used to jump fire so jump fire is a one separate container and uh, java is one separate container to to communicate with the both we will use async async and first back we will use a cache loader can you tell me what is aggregation aggregation and composition is basically is a relationship and a hazard relationship uh, basically composition is part of an aggregation so you can tell like a car like a car and you can consider a like a honda city is a car so it, there is a is a relationship so they can unidirectional and independent the, if anything changes to the parent then it will not act uh, any effect on the that part but in yeah this is the aggregation is a relationship So recently we had a Java vulnerability, log for J vulnerability. So do yes. you know about that? Yeah, yeah, I did heard about it. So uh, basically, what was happening? Uh, it was happening in log for J one point four. Any version of also log one was fine, and log two point four is also fine for that. So basically, that version was exposing it to. Basically, it was giving one. It was a security threat where it was giving an entire access to your. Uh, anybody can access your log uh, we we done remediation where we have removed those jars and again we have introduced the new jars uh, of log 4j apart from my I, i exactly don't remember what was the security cause which has happened but yeah has gone through it we use uh, so basically we are trying to move that uh, not an exact log 4j slm log 4j is there where which is quite better than log 4j in case of but some slm if we call it it is quite famous and it is been recommended to use by our senior architects in our project so we are moving from log project over there but yeah this is one of the issue i remember which has happened prior to 4 to 5 months back where one of the organization has suffered because of that log 4j security bug what is the difference between http redirect and forward yeah http redirect means like what i mean uh, no where it is coming source things they know forward source things is they are going to delete okay. so mainly the main difference is that 